here in Medjugorje. I'm with, what's your name? Sean Nocton. And Sean, where are you from? I'm from the west of Ireland, uh, Roscommon. Wow, beautiful that you are here. And you said, how often have you come to Medjugorje? Uh, I think it's about my 12th time. 12th time? 12th time. time. Uh, because uh, it keeps it keeps drawing me, and I'm big into sport. Yeah. And even though I've uh, in, into my 70s now, I'm still walking. Yeah. I'm in a state agent in Ireland, uh -huh. and uh, sometimes it's difficult to get away from doing a lot of business with farmers. Yeah. But I always make time to see Mary. Mary is special. She Why? is, and Peggy knows it is a special. Yeah. I just have a relationship. Uh, when I mean a, a spiritual relationship, and it's brilliant. I talk the same as I talk to my sons. Mm -hmm. uh, when I wake up in the morning, mm -hmm. morning Mary, hope oh, world is good. Hope everything else is good. Uh, I want you to give me a special bit of devotion today. I have a difficult client yeah. coming, and I want you close to me, Mary. Uh -huh. And Mary always helps. So oh, yeah. oh, she's brilliant. Mary is brilliant. So you, you receive answers to your prayers? Yes. You pray yeah. the rosary? Uh, yes. Why? What's so beautiful yeah, about the rosary? I enjoy it. I enjoy the rosary and I think it's so nice. And uh, um, we get so much. We get so much. And maybe, i talking about personally, I won't talk for other people. Don't, don't, don't give back enough. Don't give back enough for what I've got. Into my 70s, three lovely boys, all doing their own thing. Uh, Hopefully, they will have the same devotion we have someday. Mm -hmm. You know, I, to, I, I told them on the WhatsApp this morning mm -hmm. about the beautiful, beautiful tulips that Marco here and Grace organized for me. Yeah. And Peggy uh -huh. burst into uh, tears uh -huh. when we came back from uh, 12 o'clock mass. It was about 1.30. Yeah. And the happiness and everything couldn't put a price. Absolutely fantastic. And... A few years ago, Tom, I, I got weak coming in. I, was, I have great interest in history, so I was out in Moster, mm -hmm. came back, and I just went out for a light. Out like a light. Wow. Yeah. So I ended up five days in Moster Hospital, yeah. and it was second to none. Mm -hmm. Again, I said, Mary, I need you special now. Special, special. I'm in here in Moster, and there was a lot of people that was injured in the war, uh -huh. still there, and... Uh, the service and the, 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 the medication that I got was second to none. Uh -huh. So I haven't looked back and one of my sons said to me, you kind of go back, it seems to not do you good. Uh -huh. Because I, I had my, it happened the second time yeah. uh, as well yeah. that I got weak. And there's a friend of mine back in Roscommon, a well-known footballer. Mm -hmm. And he said, when you were in the ambulance, did you see the lights? I mean, when I was out, I thought I was going to my maker. Yeah. Yeah, I said, it was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I said, there weren't just lights, there were chandeliers. I said, I think I was going to the gates of heaven. Uh -huh. Yes, he said. I, I know a client of uh, mine, he said, uh -huh. uh, that had the same experience. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, I can't describe it, uh, Tom. It was absolutely beautiful. The trip to Master was probably 35 minutes. Mm -hmm. In the ambulance, I never was happy and they didn't know whether it was a stroke uh -huh. or what it was. Wow. So you were at the gates of heaven? I was at the gates of heaven, the chandeliers. It was beautiful. Uh -huh. it was the experience, I can never envisage again what I've seen. Uh -huh. It was just so beautiful. beautiful. It's undescribable. Nothing on this earth can... Uh, yeah, you can't put it in human words. No. Pure no. light, love. Yeah, you oh, can't describe it. It was lovely. Uh, in the hospital, yeah. they thought I was going to be uptight and all. I was happy. Mm -hmm. I was so happy because when I went down for the uh, MRI and these things, mm -hmm. uh, they were can't believe that there was no t no t no t no tension. Wow. No uh -huh. tension. So, so that's why, Tom, it's such a pleasure. Mm -hmm. It's really and, a pleasure. And you, you feel like that was because also you were you were prepared, well confessed, or is. Uh, what, I always go, I always go, I always confess. Yeah, I always why? go to confession. So confession? Uh, what, is, what is so beautiful is that uh, still not doing enough. Mm -hmm. Still not doing enough because we've been given so much love and, uh, and, 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 and love mm -hmm. and everything that don't repay near enough. Mm -hmm. So can it, it, not doing enough. You know, I, 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 some people might think I'm doing a little bit, not enough.
not near enough for what I receive. What do you receive? Can you I receive I, I receive such happiness and peace, and peace. Yeah. And there was a friend of mine, mm -hmm. uh, Tom, who's a deacon yeah. in Roscommon, and I don't want to be too critical, but uh, uh, a lot of a lot of the population in Ireland has lost their lost their uh, belief. I think the material things has. Uh, Overtaken. has overtaken them and they they, they, they they have forgotten what they what it really means but this Seamus Talbot the deacon mm -hmm. said uh, said to me that uh, he he gave up his job three years ago Seth and his wife to work for uh, a charity down in the south of Ireland mm -hmm. uh, recovering addicts mm -hmm. and that so he said he never was as happy uh, doing this uh, voluntary work mm -hmm. but there was there was one lady and her son was a very high achiever. He got tops in, in everything. Mm -hmm. And the Augustans, I think they're about 1,250 years in Ireland. Yeah. And there was this brilliant orator, mm -hmm. one of the Augustans. Yeah. And she said, I'd like you to be a guest at this graduation mm -hmm. for my son. But don't mention God. Don't mention God. Wow. Don't mention God. Uh -huh. So. That's where we arrived in the West now. Yeah, no. That, Horrific, but anyway, that was the end. Uh, mm. And and the ghost of not to mention God, like you know, was just you know. Yeah. But that's just uh, a flavor of uh, the way it, 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 it's gone. Mm -hmm. And what yeah. would you tell? A lot of people think that God the Father is an angry old man with a white beard. He waits that we make a mistake and he can puts us in hell. It's not like this. How is God the Father? Yeah. He is full of love. He yeah. is full of love, and he's full of happiness. Yeah, he's full of happiness and. Life isn't all always happiness. I mean, uh, as we all know, what happened, uh, uh, our Lord went through hor horrendous suffering for us, mm -hmm. for us, and he 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 genuinely expects us to enjoy, to enjoy. But he also expects us to give. Yeah. Also expects us to give. Those of us gifted enough to have what we have, yeah. I think we have to give back. Yes. And. Uh, I, I certainly cannot give back nearer as enough as I receive. And how a lot of people look for that joy that you have. Yeah. How can they have that joy? What would you tell them? How uh, I, I think, Tom, that uh, uh, I think rather than I tell them too much, I would like them to come here. Mm -hmm. Because I think uh, irrespective of how, how much you would explain to them, uh, they can never get what you, what you achieve when you come here. Mm -hmm. The peace and the, uh, the, 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 the belief is so strong and that we're not, we're not putting it under the carpet like it's so much in the Western world. Yeah. Uh, you know that they have to be sort of somewhat embarrassed. We should shout from the rooftops. Yeah. Shout from the rooftops. Yes. How great God is and Mary. Mary, would I get all my, all my things from Mary? You know, I talk to Mary, I talk to Mary the same as I talk to my, and she is my best friend. She is my best friend. Yeah, I see it. You're yeah. shining. And they yeah. say, here yeah. in Medjugorje, yeah. you can see Our Lady in the eyes of the people. Yeah. I can see it yeah. in your yeah. eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. what would you tell, how can they have this relationship with Our Lady like you? How, how do you start to have this relationship? I think first going off, you start by praying, praying, praying to, praying to Mary. Mary wants to hear from everybody yeah. and she is very forgiving irrespective of how people might have uh, might have had difficulties and not done things that they should have done Mary forgives all that yeah. talk to Mary uh, past past is forgiven and she past is forgiven and she gives everything to Christ makes it beautiful yes he packages yes. It. yes yeah that's yeah. how you yeah. feel yeah that's how I see it it's uh, it's 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 it's, it's so yeah. It's so unreal uh, what Mary gives, yeah. but she must see some contrition yeah. for the past. If you if you if you have that, you must show contrition, yeah. like you showed to anybody that you had a big uh, a big difficulty with mm -hmm. for years. You have to say you have to you have to compromise. You have to say sorry. Yeah. It's a short word, very short word. So beautiful. And how, what is the Eucharist for you? It's the center of our faith. How would you describe it to people? What is the beauty of the Eucharist? And Euc the Holy Mass? Eu Eucharist. Eu Eu Eucharist, it's a gift. Yeah. It's a gift from God. Yeah. It's a gift from God. And we have to respect and appreciate how beautiful it, it is and that uh, our Lord is prepared to give us that gift. Mm -hmm. Give us that gift. 
and do it as often as you can and confess confess even if people don't think that they have anything to confess it, it's a sacrament it's a sacrament and you uh, you you respect that and uh, the more times you confess once a week <coughs> once a month definitely uh, show respect to God that you have offended because and then you are prepared for you, the Eucharist you, yes huh? yes for the Eucharist it was a beautiful gift beautiful gift we're so lucky yeah. to be able to receive the Eucharist yeah, it's, it's so, so beautiful and I saw you are married what yes. would you tell young people what is the secret of a good marriage uh, be a listener yeah, as a be, man, a <laughs> <laughs> be a listener, as I know, and I wasn't always because yeah. when I started, I'm running my own business for uh, well over 40 years now, yeah. and we are married uh, 47, mm -hmm. 47 wow, years. Congratulations! You, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. We you, we have to be forgiving and and, and listen, yeah. and listen, and no one no one person should dominate in a re long relationship. Absolutely, so it's two. And what would you tell your younger self if you would be 18 years old now? What would you tell him as an advice living all the years you lived until now? I would say uh, the gift of the, the gift of faith, the gift of belief yeah. is very, very special. And I didn't have it early enough. And now that I'm getting to the, 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 the these years of, of my life uh, that I regret not showing enough love to uh, Our Lady and to and, and to Jesus in the in the early days. So I say that now uh, to my sons. It's difficult to tell someone in the thirties and mm -hmm. whatever, but at the same time it's not. But I would love to see them now. We're 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 gifted in Ireland as well. We have we have knock, yeah. we have knock shrine, mm -hmm. uh, which is which is which is brilliant. Uh, as I say, uh, we just have to. We just have to get a change or change or uh, our style uh, in Ireland as regards what's important. Mm -hmm. What's important? What's important in life? Because it's a very it's a very short it's a very short uh, journey, and it's only a journey right uh, up against eternity. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, and to help other people, and there's never anyone that uh, you should uh, sort of. Uh, as say no I don't want to do everybody was born mm -hmm. the same the same equality mm -hmm. and uh, every human uh, deserves the respect even if they have gone into difficulty we, we, we need to be humble and uh, help them yes. help them and what happened that you came back to the faith something like uh, I, th I uh, yes I uh, it wasn't a particular uh, one night in there, Tom. Mm -hmm. I just knew. I just knew that uh, there was a better way. Uh, being involved in a lot of uh, materialistic and everything that it was so uh, so meaningless. Mm -hmm. And I think um, I think I seen. I I it go to the church quite a bit on my own. Mm -hmm. And I think I, I I think that would have helped me a lot. Yeah. Spend a lot of time. A lot of time on my own and meditate. Adoration. Yes, in, in yes, a, a yes, a yes, yes, open yes, yes. Well, I would, I, I would also, I would also pick a spot because uh, I am of the belief, and, and very, it, it helps if you're on a, in a place where where Mary is all around, is on. But Mary is everywhere, mm -hmm. so I could be down in a corner of a field, mm -hmm. and I would pray to Mary. Yes. You don't have to be in Medjugorje. No, no, no. No, certainly not. And I, as I say, I get great inspiration and great happiness. And great what, happiness. What, what is for you the favorite spot here in Medjugorje? Uh, that's a difficult one, Tom, because there's a lot of favorite spots. Uh, I love the risen Christ. Yeah. And I love visiting uh, Father Slatko's uh, grave. And at the moment, and it happened eight years ago, I have a small bit of physio where I difficult my back with his nephew, mm -hmm. with Father Slavko's nephew, yeah. uh, Mario, uh -huh. and uh, can be painful uh, while it's happening, but I said, uh, your uncle is helping me, yeah, I'm much better. So that's another special uh, gift.
The Another saints we have, the saint to be, Father Slavko, I hope. Yes, 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 I think quite shortly. Yeah, I think yeah. so too. Yeah, I think in my lifetime. <laughs> we pray for that. <laughs> and you have a favorite saint, if not? A canonized saint already? Um, uh, St. Francis, uh, Francis of Assisi. Why? Because my good friend and neighbor going back in Ireland was a Franciscan, mm -hmm. uh, Pacificus. And he was an absolute gentleman. With the, what I found it uh, difficult to understand, in the depths of winter and maybe minus six, yep. and with his, uh, with his sandals uh -huh. and no, no socks. And he was as happy. He was happy. I said, this must be great. This must be fantastic what he, what he can say. <laughs> yeah, so it's not about the material things? No, 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 no. What Certainly is it not. all about then? Uh, it's, all, it, it, it's all about for this short period that we are in this world to do, do the best and uh, prepare for eternity. And I think you need that. Oh, no. By all means, enjoy. After all, our Lord turned the, the water into wine. He wanted to enjoy ourselves yes. as well. Yes. That's part of the journey, Tom. Yes, and I That's see right. it in your eyes. Yeah. People don't understand it. Don't. Yeah. Yeah. They seem not to understand yeah. what our faith yeah. is. Yeah, you don't be, joy. It's, it's, it's happiness. It's happiness. You don't be going around with gloom. In gloom, in fact, the people with uh, too much gloom is uh, needs help. Yeah, needs help. Because happiness. they don't understand. Yeah, they don't understand. Yeah. Don't understand. Yeah. And it's like you said, you be joyful and you give. Yeah. And then you are joyful. You want to give. You want to give. Yeah. You want to give more. Yeah. You give more. Because, because you've been given that. Yeah. You've been given it. So you want to share. You want to share that joy. And you have a favorite Bible scripture? Uh, I like uh, no, I, li I like all the scriptures that time. Yeah, I see it. You live yeah. it. You live the scripture. Yeah. You're joyful. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. the good news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. We're talking yeah. about the good news. Yeah, no? yeah. And yeah. what would you tell the people? Why come to Medjugorje one time? Uh, Medjugorje is something that's very special, mm -hmm. and only when you visit can you uh, can you get into what it gives. Mm -hmm. But it'll give a lot more than what you what you can give to Medjugorje. Medjugorje is always giving. Yes, you receive so much. No? Yeah, you receive so much, and Mary is in the center of it all the time. And she, what does she does for our Protestant friend? She leads to Jesus. That's yep. the only job That's she has. Absolutely, absolutely. Mary, Mary is so full of love, mm -hmm. so full of love and kindness, and uh, you know, that my 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 biggest thing would be to encourage people to come here mm -hmm. uh, when, 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 when it's suitable and when they can yeah. you know because you, can, you have to make time this life is so short yeah life is so, so short. short it's so short it's very joyous life yeah uh, you can make it very joyous yeah but you won't make it very joyous by thinking all all the time about material things that won't give you anything extra you are so right thank you so yeah. much for that beautiful interview it's beautiful talking to you tom